Yo, 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 what they do, what they do. RG4WLC Gaming. Tapping in. So the highly requested video on how to play the cornerback position in college football 25, Road to Glory, and play it at a high level, virtually. You know what I'm saying? On Heisman, or whatever you play on. Whatever you play on, hey, man, kudos to you. You feel me? Don't matter. So, boom. I'm going to go ahead and jump into it. I ain't really going to um, waste too much time. So, uh, this game right here was the, uh, you can go check out this game. It was versus Vanderbilt. Uh, I'm in my senior season on my road to glory, my cornerback for the Gators. And um, during this game, um, I caught four interceptions and I took one back uh, for a touchdown to actually seal the game for real, for real. So, um let me jump straight into it. All right, so look, so boom. Right here, I'm in man-to-man, -man, right? So boom, the first thing we want to do is, let me see if I can go slow right quick. So I'm going to run through the clip fast, and then I'm going to rewind it and break it down on everything I did step-by-step -step for y'all. So let's, let's go. Direction. They'll try to get their first positive play of the drive here on third down. All right, so boom, let me rewind it. So, all right, that play right there was an the interception, right? So let me take y'all through it right quick. So before the pre-snap, boom, I'm going to just go slow. I'm going to go frame by frame. So right here, tell y'all what I do. Okay, let me speed it up a little bit more. Let me try, I ain't trying to go too far on it. All right, boom, 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 right here, right here, right here. Okay, so boom. So right here at the snap, I'm holding down the A button to press the receiver at the line. Now, if you're on Xbox, I mean, I'm holding down the X button because I'm on PS5, my bad. But if you're on Xbox, you wanna, you're going to want to press and hold down the A button. PS5, you're going to want to press and hold down the X button at the snap just like this. Now, boom, while I'm pressing and holding down the uh, X button, I'm watching which way the receiver going. And whichever way he's going, I'm moving my left stick in that same direction while holding down the X or the A button. If you're on PS5, X button, uh, Xbox, A button. So, boom. I'm, in my case, I'm holding down the X button and I'm moving the left stick, my left joystick, to the left because that's, that's the way he's running. So, boom. That's the first thing I'm doing. Now, right here, you don't want you don't want to hold down the, uh, the X button for too long because the, the shit going to throw you out, bro. You want to fully manually control your, your player. It's a challenge, bro, but that's how they're going to be testing you, dog, especially if you're playing on Heisman. You feel me? So, boom. Once your DB open his hips like this, let go of the, a, the, uh, the X button or the A button on Xbox, bro. You don't want to hold it down the whole time. So, right here, when the hips is open, boom, as soon as the hips open, I let go of the uh, X button. And now, only control I'm using is the left stick to run with the receiver. Right now, I'm just holding down the left stick, and I'm just in stride for stride. You may say, well, why are you just holding down the left stick? Because you want to run with him, and that's how you move your player around. You don't want to be holding down turbo right here because it's going to cause you to over-pursue or just overreact to everything. You know what I'm saying? Because if you do like a cutback route, you're going to be all out of position, bro. And that's when you really want to hold the turbo is to try to make up ground. But anyway, so right here. I'm holding down. The only thing I'm moving is the left stick. So let me back it up right quick. Let's go back right quick. So right here, let me go slow. So boom, at this moment right here, I'm pressing down A button. I'm, hold on. I'm holding down the X button. I'm holding down X, and I'm pushing the left stick to the left because he's going to the left. Outside, boom. Right here when my hips is open, I let go the X button. And the only thing, I'm, only thing I'm moving now is the left stick just to run with him, to, to control the player's movement. I'm running with him. Boom. I'm stride for stride. You see my hand on his hip. This is another key feature. Now, this is the widescreen view, too. So you can see the quarterback already made up his mind. Like, oh, I'm finna go to my, my number one receiver. So, boom. Forget all that, though. But remember, I just want to make this a, a you know, very clear for y'all, bro. Right here at the line. 
as soon as the ball is snapped, you're going to want to hold down the, a, the X button. In my case, I'm on PS5. Hold down the X button and move the left stick to whatever direction. So if he would have went to the right, I would have been holding down X and pushing the left stick to the right. But in this case, well, my right. He went to his right. So, you know, so he went that way. So in, in this case, I'm moving my left stick to my left. And right here, when I open my hips, I'm letting go of the X button and I'm just controlling my player with the left stick. Stride for stride with him right now. Stride for stride. Now, mind you, here go another. This how this is how this this is the first re, the first way I know the, the quarterback is finna throw me the ball. But y'all be like, how how you know he finna throw you the ball? Right here, bro. Watch this. It's a small detail. So boom, watch the camera. Boom, boom. Watch how the camera zooms out. Boom, right there. At this frame right here, boom. You see the camera zooms out? When that camera zooms out like that, that was the first indication I knew that the ball was going to be thrown. Because whenever the ball is thrown at your side, bro, the camera always zooms out like that. That's a small little detail that y'all need to know. For, for y'all the ones that be asking me, like, how do you know the ball was coming? That's that's the first that's the first way I know how the ball is going to come. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. Right here, I'm just holding down the left. I mean, not holding down, but I'm just... Controlling my player with the left stick only. I'm not even hitting turbo like the speed button. I'm just running with him stride for stride. Then boom. This camera breaks down. I mean, this camera, boom, right there. You see the camera? It zooms out. That's the first indication I know that the ball is on the way. And I'm this whole time, bro, I must state, this whole time, I'm not looking at the quarterback. I'm not looking at nothing else. The only thing I'm focused on is my DB. And the receiver on guard. That's my tunnel vision right there. Because these small details that I'm telling y'all right now lets me know that everything I need to know. That's how I know the ball coming. I'm, my eyes is not caught in the backfield. Because if I would have been looking in the backfield on this play, I probably would have got beat on the play. But anyways, so boom. Right here, that camera zooms out. That's the first indication to let you know that the ball is on the way. Boom. See how it zooms out? It goes from this, from close up like this, to boom. It zooms out. And you, as you can see, the quarterback, the ball, look over at the quarterback. He already got the ball. He already threw it. It's already on the way. So that was the first thing that let me know the ball was on the way. So boom, stride. So right here, once I notice that, I see the receiver kind of like trying to, you know, get a little more edge up on me. That's when I, that's when I hit hold down the uh, speed button as well as long with the left stick a little bit. I don't overuse it though, but boom. Now, the second way I know the ball is uh, on the way. First way is the camera always pans out. So when you see that camera change and pan out, like, you know, zoom out, that's the first way to let you know the ball's on the way. Second, watch the receiver's head. He looking back for the ball. As soon as he turned and looked back for the ball, okay, that, that's the second way of letting me know the ball is on the way. Boom. Third, look at your DB. Right here, watch this. Boom. He going to turn and look for the ball. He going to turn and uh, track the ball. Once he find the ball, watch he track it. Boom. So this whole time, I'm just running stride for stride with him. He got me beat by a little split, little yard or whatever, whatever. But I'm, in reality, I'm not really beat for real. I mean, they thought I was, but I ain't. So boom. So look, right here. Receiver looking for the ball. Now your DB tracking the ball. Once he find that ball, look, boom. Look at my head. I already done tracked the ball and found the ball. And as you can see, it's kind of blurry with the crowd, though. But at this moment, once I see the ball is tracked, now you can be aggressive. I'm a, I'm more of an aggressive player. You know what I'm saying? Like a ball hawk. I take risks. You feel me? You win some, you lose some. It is what it is. But you will never know if you can pick it off if you ain't take the risk. If, you know what I'm saying? Take a chance. So anyways, so right here, once I know my DB located the ball and tracked it and he got his eyes on it, Right at this moment, you can't do it too. I'm holding down triangle. Right here, I'm holding down triangle. On, on the PlayStation, it's triangle. On the Xbox, it's going to be the Y button. I'm holding down triangle. And what that is, is that's playing the ball. Boom. So as you can see, once I'm holding down triangle, that pass is low key. Like, I'm low key. I might, it's a little bit behind me, I think. So, yeah, it is because I got to turn around a little bit. Now you can see the receiver. He thought the ball was going to be on the money. Uh uh, bro. Don't even try me like that. So, boom. I'm holding down a triangle. If you're not confident and don't want to risk and give up a big play and miss the interception, 
what you could do at this moment instead of holding down a triangle you could just hold down the square button what the square button does is like it's you know it's gonna go to swat the ball if you ain't got that confidence yet in your player yet which is cool bro because you got to just keep playing and you build up that confidence you know the more you play the the more confidence you build up and the better you get you feel me so if you're not really too confident and don't want to like take the risk and and give up a big play by missing the interception just hold down the square button right here your your db will swat it down he'll do the he'll do the swat boom swat it down so me you know and it happens quick too so you just got to be alert you just got to know these small details so boom i'm holding down a triangle right here and you might a lot of y'all might want to know what that yellow little circle is with the um with the cross in it and the little yellow arrow point down or the gold arrow point down that's actually the trajectory where the balls was that's the placement where the ball was going that's where the ball was about to land at so boom i'm holding down a triangle right here uh i have it picked off and then you know after that you know what i'm saying you just turn it up feel you just turn it up feeling you just hold on you just turn it up feeling and you just go from there Boom. so right here right here i'm holding down uh the x button on ps5 and i'm moving the left stick to the left right here once the hips is open i'm letting go the x button because that's the press button out the gate it's the press button at you know pre-snap press button so the jam button you feel what i'm saying so i let i let go the x button and i'm only controlling it with the left stick boom right here now watch the camera boom right i'm trying to slow it down for y'all so watch the camera i'm gonna step frame by frame so let's hold on let's go back right quick right here boom so y'all see i jammed them at the line by pressing the x button then once the hips is opened up right here, I let go the X button. Because that shit will throw you off your track. It'll throw you off your coverage, bro. You know what I'm saying? And you, that's how you be giving up. You'll get beat on some big plays for real. So, boom. Step by step. I let go the X button. So, now I'm running with the left stick. All I'm just controlling with the left stick. Stride for stride. Now, once you see that camera, I know y'all can see it. Boom. Once that camera pans out like that, that's the first indication to let you know the ball is on the way to your side. They throwing at you. The second way to know is track the receiver head and look at your DB's head. They're going to turn around and track the ball. Boom. Once they track the ball and they locate the ball, boom. Now they both playing the ball. That's the second way to let you know is when you look at their head and they turn and look for the ball. So that's two verifications right there that the ball is on the way to your side. This whole time, just be, just be focused on y'all two players. Don't get caught looking in the backfield, bro. I'm telling you. Just focus. Boom. That's the second way. Boom. And then the third thing right there to do is just now to finish it off, just hold down triangle right here. You can start holding down triangle probably about right here, but you must stay running in stride with them. Now this whole time. Boom. All right, look. So let's see. Right here. I'm just using the left stick, left stick, left stick. The, pan, the camera pans out. The camera panned out. That let me know that was the first sign to let me know the ball's on the way and then this whole time i'm playing i'm looking at my i'm looking at my db and looking at the receiver the whole time i ain't worried about nothing else i'm worried about my assignment only bro you feel me but just for me looking at that just to verify what i'm saying is how i know the ball coming since it's on the widescreen version the view look at the quarterback he already in motion of throwing it look he already he already let it go so when that when that camera when you get boom just zoom in when that camera pans out like that, that's the first sign to know. So this, so that's just another note that y'all need to know. And also right here, I'm still control. I'm still just running, using the left analog just to, you know, just to run with him. But I'm also juicing up with a little bit of, a little bit of turbo speed boost. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of turbo. You know what I'm saying? Cause he's trying to outrun me right here. So now that's when I use a little turbo along with the left stick. And then we locate. You see, in the second way, they're gonna locate the ball with their head, turn their head. Right here, I'm still holding down the left stick, and I'm I'm using a little bit of turbo while I'm watching. Boom, looking at their head, they, they, they track the ball. Then right here, I'm holding down triangle. And that's going to play the ball, and I caught the pick. You feel me? And if you're not confident in catching picks yet, and you don't want to give up the big play, you feel me? Um, just um, press hold down square. Instead of holding down triangle right here, hold down square instead while you still running with the receiver hold down square here go to swat that bit down 
and you'll be straight. You feel me? Boom. That's picked. And this is just the first play. This was my first interception of this game. And, yes, I do play on Heisman. You can go watch this game at the four-minute mark. I remember to pause the game and go into the settings and show y'all I play on Heisman, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it don't matter if your player are 99. It helps. But at the end of the day, bro, you still got to have skill. You know what I'm saying? To go out there and execute and play like this. Because a lot of people say, oh, he this, he this. Man, nobody don't care about all that, bro. Why ain't you producing this type of content then? But anyways, boom. There you go. That's the first. That's the first clip. Now I'm finna play it full speed for y'all, so y'all can know exactly what. They'll try to get their first positive play of the drive here Pressing X, down. holding our left stick, a little bit of turbo. You know what I'm saying? It happened quick though, but you feel me? All right, so boom, that's the first clip. That's the first interception. Let me go to a different one. All right, so this is my second interception in this game. I'm going to play it through right quick just so y'all can see it full speed. Then I'm going to break it down on everything I did from start to finish and what could, what buttons I was using and pressing. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Pass on the way. It's kicked off. Bringing it back. Okay, so boom. Let's go back. All right, so as you can see, I'm up in prayer. I'm up in man press. And mind y'all, even on some zone coverages that we be having, I still play man. I be ignoring the zone. I can play zone. It's cool and everything, but I like to be, you know, up and, you know, in the space. You feel what I'm saying? So, uh, locking them up at the line of scrimmage, man. So, boom. All right, let me speed it up a little bit. Tabby. I'll say, okay, boom. So, I'm going to go frame by frame, y'all. So, boom. Offense, they snap the ball. Once they snap the ball... Right here, I'm pressing and holding down X. Mind you, while I'm pressing and holding down X right here, I'm moving my left analog stick that way because he's going to my left. So I'm jamming him and I'm pressing him that way because that's the way he's going. So boom, okay, I'm going to press you that way. So right now, I'm pressing and holding X on PlayStation and Xbox. Press and hold A and move your left stick to whichever way that receiver going. Now, boom, frame by frame. Now, right here, when your DB open up his hips, let go of the X button, but continue to run with the receiver with the left stick. Or let go of your A button and continue to run with the receiver with the left stick. Boom. So now you're just using a straight left analog stick to control your, your, uh, your DB. So now, right here, all I'm doing is literally all I'm doing, my eyes is specifically on my DB and the receiver. So boom, I'm stride for stride. Now, as you see, I got my hand over the... So let's see. He tried to get a little separate. So we hand, you know, hand to hand. Look like them boys holding hands right there. Low key, I'm in his pocket. You feel me? Now I don't know where at where the CPU thought that. I guess he was just trying to go to his wide receiver number one. But I don't know where he thought I would be that. But I'm I'm stride for stride with him right here. So the only thing I'm doing, I'm just using the left analog stick control to control it. It ain't no need for me to hit the turbo button yet. Because he can go, <laughs> he can break down and, and do like a little curl or something and back to the sideline. And if I'm holding down turbo, I'm going to blow past that and just like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just stride for stride. Left analog stick right here. With my eyes is strictly on the receiver and my DB. Mind you, while I'm running with him, I use a little turbo. I use a little, because once he passed that first down marker right there, I said, oh yeah, he ain't finna do nothing. Now he, he riding out. He trying to take off. So, boom, I use a little bit of turbo or speed boost or, the, you know, the turbos run speed button. And um, and if you don't know what your speed button is, it's usually the, the bottom right trigger on your controller. On the right side of your controller, it's going to be the bottom on the back, the top of your controller, the bottom trigger button. You know what I'm saying? So, right here, I'm still running stride for stride with him. Using the left stick, and I probably uh, I could I probably use a little a little bit of turbo. That's it. And the camera is still zoomed in on us now, so that lets me know the ball hasn't been thrown my way yet. That lets me know right there the ball has not been thrown my way yet. So I'm stride for stride, and as you can see right here, I feel like this where the quarterback thought that I was beat because this on Heisman, bro. They gonna test you, bro. So boom, right here. He may thought I was beat. I don't see where I was beat at, but you know what I'm saying? He probably got like a, a leg up on me, like right there, boom. 
You know what I'm saying? But as you can see, look back at the quarterback. He winding up to throw that bit. So look. So right now I'm still pressing. I'm still running with him with the left analog stick and with a little bit of turbo. Now the camera still zoomed in, so I know it hasn't been thrown my way yet. So I'm looking at the receiver. So I see the receiver. He he well past the first down line. So look, he starts to turn his head back to look towards the quarterback. That was the first indication, right, that'll let me know, okay, the ball might be on the way because he's looking, he's turning back to look for the ball. It might be on the way. And then, boom, he's looking all the way back for the ball now. So that kind of verified it, but the camera still hasn't zoomed out yet. But the receiver gave me indication that, okay, yeah, bro, they finna throw that bitch your way. Oh, excuse my French. I ain't trying to get flat, but they finna throw it your way. So, boom, I'm still running with him now right here. Now, right here, I'm in stride for stride. I'm, in, I'm hitting turbo. Now, I'm like, okay. Now, it's time to put them burners on. Because he already looking back. He letting me know that, okay, yeah, they finna throw it, bro. I'm the target on this play. Okay, bet. That was the first That was the first uh, verification. Second, remember I told y'all, watch the camera. Pay attention to the camera. How it zoomed in. When the camera pans out a little bit, the ball is coming towards you. Boom. The camera panned out. That was the second verification I needed right there. And you can see he got about like a little couple of inches, couple, about like a step or two on me. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably why I brought thought. You know, I don't know. But that was the second verification when the camera panned out. Now, my DB, I'm still running. He haven't even looked to track the ball yet. He just running. I'm running with the receiver. So boom. So now I see the receiver looking back. Now I seen the camera pan out. That was two signs right there that let me know and verify that the ball is on the way. And mind you, on this play right here, when the quarterback was finna throw it, he actually got hit. He got hit during that play, and he just chucked it up. And if you watch the live stream of this video, you would, they show the instant replay of this interception. You will see he got lit up, and he just still decided to throw it. Crazy. But anyway, so boom. The receiver looked back for the ball. That's number one. That let me know. But the camera hadn't panned out yet. So boom. When the camera panned out to this angle, that, that was two. That was the second verification that let me know the ball was on the way. So, boom. Mind you, whole time, I'm still controlling. I'm still running with him with the left stick. But I'm also holding down the turbo button because I'm not going to let him outrun me. So, boom. The third verification that let me know the ball was on the way, look at my DB. He turns and starts to find the ball and try to track the ball that's in the air. Boom. Now he's looking for the rock. Okay, bet. He located the rock right here. So now look at the receiver. The receiver done located the rock too. That let, that was the third verification I need. You feel me? When the receiver looked back for the ball, when the camera panned out, and when and when my DB turned around and looked to try to track the ball that was in the air. That was the three verification that let me know the ball was on the way. So for everybody that be asking, how did you know? How did you know? That's I'm breaking it down for y'all on what y'all need to pay attention to. It's the small details, bro. The little details that you got to pay attention to. It's not hard, bro. For real. So, boom. Now, I'm tracking the ball. I don't track it. Look at the receiver. He looking for it. And I must note, this whole time, my eyes is the only thing I'm looking at on this plate is my DB and the receiver. I'm not looking nowhere else on the field. That's the, These are the only two people I'm looking at. Stride for stride. Boom. I'm holding down turbo. He got a step on me because he got in front of me. I'm like, okay. And boom. Now, mind you, this whole time when he got that step on me, look look where the ball at. Y'all see right above the uh uh the Florida, the Florida name right there on the little um on the uh the little score ticker and shit. Uh right there when they show the yellow circle with the cross, the little gold cross or whatever, and the arrow point down. That was where the quarterback when he got hit, he just launched it up. But anyways, the ball was supposed to land right there. That was the trajectory of the ball where the ball was about to land at. Now, mind you, let me go back a little bit. He running straight. So, therefore, he cut me off. But then again, he got to make his way back towards inner, like inside of the field a little bit more. So, right here, even I'm controlling with the left stick. I'm running with him with the left stick. And I'm holding down turbo just to stay in stride with him, bro. Right now. I'm also, while I'm holding those down, I'm also pressing and holding the triangle button to go for the pick. I'm playing the ball now. So I'm running with him with the left stick. I'm using my speed burst, the turbo, and I'm holding down triangle right here at this moment. Right here at this moment, I'm holding down triangle to play the ball. 
and then boom, as you can see, the ball was boom. He had to come back in and try to adjust, like, nope. Boom. I stretched out for it, boom. Playing the ball, holding down a triangle. And like I said, if you're not comfortable with catching picks and you a little nervous, not don't have no confidence yet, just press and hold the square button, bro. You can get your pass deflections up. You know what I'm saying? Trust me, dog. Trust me. And if you sometimes, if you were like in a crowded space or whatever, and you go for the swat, the ball will get tipped up in the air sometimes, and you might be able to pick it off. Pick it off. You got you got the swat and the interception. But you know, I'm a risk taker, so I'm a uh, not saying you not not saying y'all no risk takers, but I'm just saying to build your confidence. I'm confident enough because I've been playing this for so long, bro. I'm confident in my ability. But if I knew for a fact that I was way out of position, I know I said oh, that's kind of reaching. You reaching too much, bro. Let me hold down square and just live to fight another play. You feel me? So that's when I hold down square. Like a lot of plays, you know, I press square to play the ball or play square to, you know, to defend it, like swatting the ball or whatever. You know, I do it a lot too. But I just took a risk on this one. So, boom. As you can see, the receiver over overran it. Boom. And I undercut it. And boom. Picked off right there. And I also got to work on my return at the interception game because every time I catch picks downfield, I don't never take them to the crib like that. Like, for real. I be trying. You know what I'm saying? But this game, I actually took one to the crib. But all my other pick sixes, like, I kind of, like, either jumped in front of the route, like, on little hitches and all that, whatever, some ones I took to the crib or whatever. But downfield, I got to work on my return at the interception. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. That was that breakdown on the second pick. So, let me go ahead and fast forward it. I mean, put it full speed. Go right there. You know? So that was that. That was the second pick. Now let me go to the third pick for y'all. Alright, so this is my third interception of the game. So as you can see, I'm in man press. I always play man press. Like, that's just me. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I Sometimes I play off a little bit if I'm just cooling or whatever. But for the most, like 99.9% of the time, bro, I'm in man press. That's just my game. You know what I'm saying? Man to man, that's my game. For real, for real. So, boom, right here. Oh, I sped up a little too fast. All right, so, boom, so right here. Oh, hold on. I'm still going too far. All right. So, this is the third, third intersection. So, oh, let me play it full speed for y'all so y'all can see. Sit down, sir. On third down, going up top. And here's the third. All right, so y'all seen that. Let me rewind it right quick. All right, so, boom. I'm going to go frame by frame right quick. Frame by frame. Frame by frame. So right here at the snap, I'm pressing and I'm holding down the X button on PlayStation. And if you're on Xbox, you're going to be wanting to press and hold down the A button right here. Now, the receiver going back to my left. So that's my left. Um, while I'm holding down the X button on PlayStation or the A button on uh, Xbox, I'm moving the left stick to the left as well while holding down those buttons, right? Because we're going to press. Boom. And we're going to press them that way. So... Soon as I open up my hips, like right here, boom. Soon as the hips open up to go to get ready to run with the receiver, I'm letting go of the X button on PlayStation. And I'm letting go of the A button on Xbox. So right now, all I'm pressing is the left stick just to run with him. That's it. I'm, I'm, I'm moving the left stick. I'm, I'm just running with him with the left stick, as you can see. Boom. I'm running with him with the left stick. Now, while, I'm, while I open up and I'm running with him with the left stick, my eyes is only thing my eyes on right now is my DB and the receiver. I don't worry about anything else going on on the field unless, you know, it, it comes into my peripheral or whatever. Then I react to it. But right now, I'm just focused on this one-on-one -on -one matchup. So, boom, I'm controlling left stick. And I'm watching the receiver. So, I said, okay, boom. He, he turned and looked for the ball early in the route. So, I'm like, okay, boom. That was the first verification that let me know, okay, the quarterback looking this way, he finna probably throw it this way because the receiver looking for the ball. Okay, bet. Boom, I'm stride for stride. Then there you go. That other small detail I was telling y'all about. The camera is going to pan out. Watch how the camera pans out. It's a small detail, bro. Boom, the camera pans out. That was the second verification I needed that. Okay, yeah, it's official. The ball is on the way. I don't know where it's at yet, but it's on the way. So I'm just still running with my receiver. I'm not looking in the backfield. I'm not getting caught up in none of that, bro. I'm staying with my assignment. Boom. So once I noticed the receiver looked for the ball, that was one. Two, 
the camera panned out. That was the second verification I needed that let me know the ball was on the way. Now y'all might say, okay, go back to what, what are you pressing right here? I'm just still running with him with the left stick. I'm just controlling with the left stick and running. But if your player is a little bit slow and not really top speed yet, you may need to tap the turbo button a little bit just to you know give it a little juice, but don't overuse it, bro. So boom, right here, now my DB turns and looks to try to track the ball, to locate the ball, boom. Once he locate the ball, he started tracking it. Now the receiver is tracking it. You feel me? So now I'm, I'm left stick. I'm moving the left stick to run with the receiver in the process. But I'm holding down turbo, holding down speed button. So boom, once I track the ball, you can see right here. Watch my DB head. Watch his head, y'all. He turns around and look. He's trying to find the ball. Boom, he tracks it right there. Then when he tracks it, boom, he sees it. Okay, he tracking it now. He like, he know where it's at now. And then boom. Right here, and when he's right here, when he's tracking it like this, I'm still running with the receiver with the left stick, and I'm I'm using a little bit of turbo. While I'm doing that in this in this particular area right here, bro, I'm holding down triangle because I'm going to play the ball and I'm going for the pick. So boom, I'm holding down triangle, and as you can see, the ball was thrown behind us before it got to his what's the name. And the simple fact that he was out towards the sideline and I was, you know, on the inside, I was able to uh, hold down a triangle. Boom. I was able to pick it off. And then, you know, I picked it off. And then that's the breakdown of that play. That's the breakdown of that. So I'm going to play through it, frankly, full speed. On third down, going up top. And here's See? The third that was easy work. That was easy work. And to be real with you, if I was playing playing on freshman varsity or uh, what's the other one, um, Amer all American, I probably would have took that to the crib, bro. You know what I'm saying? And not saying that those moves, but they take they take some they take good angles on here, bro. And I'm gonna show y'all my fourth interception on how EA was, well, you know, it with EA college, you know, college football team. They did a great job, bro, at angles taking at the CPU taking angles for real. For real, for real. So boom. That was that play. Just want to show y'all. So now let's go to the fourth interception right quick. Let me break down this one. So now this was, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think, yeah, this was my first interception that I caught downfield that I actually took to the crib. And if you be watching my live streams, bro, or like the games I be playing on my Road to Glory cornerback, bro, you would notice that like my touch, my pick sixes and shit come off like uh probably like jumping like some slant routes or some curl routes or whatever or some something, you know, medium ish downfield, nothing too crazy. So look, so boom, right here is the fourth quarter, 28 to 31, 101 left. They only 37, it's second and five. You feel me? So this crunch time right here. So all right, so boom. So I, I'm already thinking. I'm like, shit. I ain't finna back down from the challenge. It's crunch time. So automatically, I jump straight into man to man. Like I don't know if we was running man on this play. We might have been. It might have been a little zone. But I'm like, nah. I ain't doing all that. I ain't got time to get this receiver no cushion. Nah, I need to be in his face off the dribble. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I ain't going. So boom. Let me play it right quick for y'all. I'm going to just play the interception, then I'm going to break it down. He's looking to throw. And it's another interception. Yes, All right, so boom. Let me go back right quick. Rewind. So boom. Before the snap, hey, I call out. Get up. We, we pressing. Let's get it. Let's get in their face. Let's get in their face. For sure. So boom. Right here. When the ball is snapped. I'm pressing and holding the X button on PlayStation because I'm playing on PlayStation PS5. If you on Xbox, press and hold the A button. And I keep repeating myself just because you know some people might need that 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 um uh that 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 information a little bit more. You know, just to be refreshed. So I'm gonna make sure I refresh y'all. So boom, hit it right here. Holding down the X button on the PS5 for me. If you on the Xbox, hold down the A button right here. Be holding it down. And be whichever way the receiver going. That's what that's the way you want to move the analog stick while you holding down the press button. So it's he going back to my left again. So I'm holding down the X button on PlayStation. And if you're on Xbox, hold down the A. And I'm moving the left analog stick to the left while I'm pressing it. Once we open stride like this, boom, I let go of the press button. 
and now I'm running with him with the left analog stick. That's all I'm pressing, and I'm taking my time, and I'm be able to I'm be, I'm stride for stride with him, bro, because I'm not holding down turbo to over pursue or outrun him or nothing. No, I'm matching his tempo. I'm running with him. I'm in his pocket. Boom! Look at the arm. I'm in his pocket. He stride for stride, and this wide stream. So boom. All right, let me let me let me get back. I'm locked in. So boom. All right, so uh, so right here, as soon as the ball snap, I'm pressing and holding the press button. I'm moving the analog stick to the left because that's where he's going. You know what I'm saying? But I'm releasing right here when we open stride. I'm releasing the press button. I'm just move. I'm just running with him with the analog stick. That's it. I'm, my eyes is on our. Uh, my eyes is on us two the whole time. I'm not worried about what nobody else is doing. Boom, stride for stride. Now mind you, he didn't even look for the ball yet. So I didn't think the ball was being thrown. And you got to think, it's the game on the line. I guess it's the game on the line. He they wide receiver number one. So I would think if they was passing it, they're going to try to get it to bruh. But, you know, like I said, I still play coverage even though I'm watching the receiver. And he never looked for the ball. So I'm like, okay, maybe it ain't coming here yet. Or maybe they're not throwing it my way at all. But I'm going to still stay stride for stride with him. Boom. Then what happened? That camera panned out. Well, I told y'all, y'all got to remember that small detail, bro. Boom. That verified to me, that was the first verification that I needed, that the ball was going to be thrown my way and that it was on the way. Right there, when that camera pans out like this, boom. That's going to let you know the ball is on the way. You can't get over too excited now. When you learn this new little, you know, this little, this little key little feature, bro. You got to stay, stay focused, bro. Boom. That lets me know the ball's on the way because the camera zoomed out. So, boom. I'm still strive for strive for with him. And now I'm in front of him. Now he wants to look back for the ball. You feel me? Let's go back a little bit. The camera's not zoomed out. So, I, I'm like, okay. Okay, the ball ain't on the way yet. And for one, he's not even looking for the ball yet. But look at the quarterback, y'all. Check out the quarterback. He already in motion to throw it. It's right. He finna let it go. As soon as he let it go, that's when the camera pans out. But the whole time, I'm not watching the quarterback. I'm watching us. Don't worry about the quarterback. Because that camera pans out like that, boom, the ball on the way. And now I'm stride for stride with him. And then now he turns and looks for the looks for the ball. Not only does he turn and look for the ball, my DB turned and looked for the ball at the same time. That was the second verification I needed that the ball was on the way, bro. So they they, they locating the ball. They tracked it. Boom. Right there, I don't track the ball. Once I track the ball, I kind of get it like a couple of seconds. Then I hold down triangle. I'm holding down triangle while I'm in stride. When I'm still in stride with him by running with him with the left analog stick and a little bit of turbo. Not too much, but just a little bit because I'm trying to, you want to stay stride for stride with him. Stay in his pocket. Don't over pursue it or don't be behind. You know what I'm saying? Just stay in his pocket as much as you can. And I have done got called for illegal contact downfield on a handful of plays. For real, for real. Like, for real, just for me just being in his pocket. That's how I know I was really covering, but, you know, they call it, yeah, whatever. So, boom. Now that I locate the ball, he tracking it now. Now you got a couple of seconds now. So, boom, I'm holding I'm holding down triangle right here at this moment because I'm playing the ball now. I'm holding down triangle. And then, as you can see, boom, picked off. And that little circle right there, that little gold, yellow circle, whatever color it is for you, uh, that's where the ball was projected to be thrown at. And the receiver thought it was going to be there, but boom, nope, I don't, I don't picked it off. And boom, here you go. You know what I'm saying? I took it back to the crib. This was actually my first pick six from downfield. Game on the line. You can see right there up under my play, it says user alert. Like, bro, I do this, bro. So boom. So you know what I'm saying? I turned up field. So let me rewind and I'm going to play the whole clip back for y'all right quick. Full speed. Here we go. Boom. And it's another interception as it's assault Boom. on the record book continues. Look at the He'll angles they to took. Hold on, let me go back right quick. Look at the angles. Now the CPU took some beautiful angles, bro. I just finessed it. I was like, bro, I gotta take this to the crib, bro. Ain't no way. A game at you know what I'm saying? A game like like come on, bro. Like, come on. Crunch time like that in the swamp. You gotta take it to the crib. Boom. Look at the angles. He took a good angle. 
I just about ran You know what I'm saying? So, boom. So, that's going to wrap up the video. If you need to, make sure y'all pause the video and at wherever you rewind it. Do as much as y'all need to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's why that feature is there. Um, feel free to download the video. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all can watch it and, you know what I'm saying? It'll help y'all a lot for real, for real. So, for everybody who's thinking I was cheating or I be cheating, no, bro, I'm not cheating. I just do this for real. Not only do I do this on the game, bro, I'm highly skilled at it on this game, bro. It's easy to me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's a challenge. Like, to be real, it's fun. Like, I play on Heisman. This is how I perform at a high level on Heisman, playing the cornerback position. I can't speak for nobody else, but this is how I do it. This is how I'm producing the type of clips and footage and highlights that I post. This is how I do it, bro. You know what I'm saying? So y'all heard it here first, and I showed y'all first. This is how you do it, bro. For real, for real. I ain't no gatekeeper. I'm going to show y'all the sauce on how to elevate. You feel what I'm saying? So, boom. That's that, though. But uh, I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit the thumbs up, bro. And y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, turn the notification bell on because uh, I, um, I stay dropping content. So, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. If not, cool. Uh, if this video was helpful... Hit the thumbs up for me, man. Drop some comments. Let me know in the comment section if it helped y'all for real, for real. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm 100% confident it's going to turn y'all game up. So don't be scared to play on Heisman. Now, if you play on freshman or or uh, or uh, varsity, the All-American, just to get comfortable with it, you ain't the casual hardcore, you know what I'm saying? That's cool, bro. I ain't knocking that. Do your thug thizzle. But these techniques right here is going to help you elevate your game. Not only do I want to help y'all elevate y'all game, bro, I want to get y'all in a situation where y'all can produce this type of content, bro, so you can start getting monetized, dog, and you can start turning up off your, uh, you know what I'm saying, off your dope content that you put out there, for real, for real. I want to see everybody eat, bro. So y'all make sure y'all uh, hit that uh, YouTube, hit my YouTube channel. It's RG4WLC Gaming. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Hit the thumbs up if this video helped you. Uh, turn the notification bell on for real, for real. And uh, I appreciate y'all, dog. So this is the um, this is the one-on-one -on -one breakdown on how to play the cornerback position at a high, high, high level on Heisman and college football 25 and beyond. So y'all stay tuned, man. Make sure y'all check out the series on the channel as well. Uh, I will be entering the draft with this player right here to see a year um i just i'll be done i gotta save and then when madden drop i will be entering the draft with him and we're gonna continue his career from there but uh i hope this video helped y'all man y'all make sure y'all follow your boy on instagram too at rg4 underscore wlc or you can just type in rg4 wlc gaming uh appreciate y'all for all the love on the instagram as well uh y'all turned them clips up and got them going viral so Appreciate y'all, bro, and I hope this helped y'all. And I'll be back with more content. Y'all jump in the comment section and let me know if y'all need anything, need like need any other breakdowns. So appreciate y'all.